So here's an interesting question that popped up today in the eLearning Heroes community from a Storyline user. She was building a tabs interaction that looked something like this one, where she had these three shapes that were being used as tabs, and then she had some triggers over here in the trigger panel that caused a layer to be revealed when the learner clicked on any of the tabs. And of course, down here in the layer panel, she had you know three different layers, each one corresponding to one of the tab shapes. Well, all of this was working great, but here was her challenge. She wanted the slide to automatically advance to the next content slide once the learner had had a chance to look at the content associated with each of those three tabs. So what she did is she created a trigger that told Storyline to jump to the next slide once the state of all three of these tab shapes had become visited. And it kind of seems like that should work, but here's the problem with that. Even though it does allow the learner you know, to explore the tabs in any order that they want to, whichever tab they click on last is going to cause that slide advance to happen immediately. So they will never get a chance to look at the content associated with that final tab. The advance would happen before they even have a chance to look at the layer that should appear. So here's a different way that you can handle that. What I'm going to do is jump over to one of my slide layers. I'm going to select layer one. And in my trigger panel, I'm going to click on this button here to create a new trigger. And here's the action that we want to trigger. We want to jump to the slide that's the next slide, so this is good. But we want that to happen when the timeline of this layer ends. Okay, so we want the learner to be able to see the full duration of the layer timeline, and we don't want the advance to happen until the timeline ends. And we only want the advance to happen under certain conditions. So we're going to click the Show Conditions button. And here are the conditions that we um, want to fulfill. I'm going to click on this little green plus sign. And one of the conditions is we want our first tab to be in its visited state. So we want to make sure that that first tab is visited. We also want to make sure that the second tab is visited. So I'm going to do the same thing for the second tab equal to visited. And then we also want to make sure that the third tab is visited as well. So this way, what we're telling Storyline is we're telling it you can go ahead and advance to the next slide at the end of this layer's timeline, but only if the learner has visited all three of the tabs on my slide. So there's our trigger. And now that we've created it, we just need to copy it to our other layers. So in the trigger panel, I'm going to click on the Copy button and then switch to my second layer, and we'll paste it there. And then I'm going to switch to my third layer, and then we'll paste it there. And now if we preview this scene, we should see the behavior that we want. So here's our timeline, and I've really shortened up the duration of each layer here to be only about three seconds, just so that we wouldn't have to wait to you know, view a really long timeline for each layer. So let's go ahead and view the tabs. I'm going to click on the first one. It's playing out. It gets to the end of the timeline, but no advance happens yet because we haven't visited all the tabs yet. I'll click on the last tab here. Same thing happens. The timeline plays all the way out and then stops. And now we only have one tab left to look at. It's this middle one. And when we click on this, we should see the seek bar play all the way out. And then once it gets to the end, because we've now visited all three of the tabs, we should see that advance happen. So we'll click on that tab. We see the seek bar play. And then at the end, we jump right to our next content slide. So that's a way that you can create that auto advance behavior um, while still allowing your learners to explore your tabs in any order that they want to.